Hi and welcome to our Manhua Anime Recap Channel. We are back with another exciting part of the Manhua called Embrace My Shadow. Sit back and enjoy the video, and please don't forget to subscribe. If you remember the last episode, when Fei Fan Yu was trying to play around and try to mimic that Dai Dai is getting ahead of herself only because she understands Fei Fan is trying to play around to somehow back up Coco Ming from Ye Bei Ming. So she walks up and bumps her foot, to which Dai Dai quickly runs up to Fei Fan Yu. Fei Fan on the other side stands and says that she has sprained her ankle again before her former injury could be healed. Dai Dai comes looking for it and asks Fei Fan Yu to let her have a look, and she wonders about things turning out. In terms of Fei Fan Yu's actuality, as she was thinking it could be her playing around again on purpose, so instead she helps her carry and apologizes to her that she misunderstood her. Fei Fan in response guilts and says that this is nonsense to say such thing at such moment. Dai Dai wonders that Fei Fan Yu is the kindest just like her sister, and not only that, she is also the most beautiful person in the world, and she shouldn't have doubted her, and Fei Fan, who notices her, asks if she is wondering something as by her looks she is looking different, and Dai Dai says that there is nothing and compliments her to be her favorite of all time. Fei Fan, this time even she was not serious and actually playing with this look she gives and wonders that Dai Dai is an actor innocent girl. On the other side, Coco Ming is with Zijin, and someone on the door is saying that there is nothing of an issue, as she will go out to buy food where she leaves by saying to these two to continue chatting. Zijin then tells Coco about Ye Beiming, who is awake now, and if she want to see him, he will send her to him. But Coco sounds weird. She says that there are many people taking care of him, and she is definitely not needed. However, she says that she will go to him once he will need her. She then start wondering about Fai Fan Yu sleeping beside Ye Beiming. And Zijin says that he can't get out of bed or walk around, but since he has good health, he will recover soon. Coco asks the reason from Zijin telling this to her. And in response, he says that Coco is probably thinking about Ye Beiming right now. And hearing this, Coco becomes kind of shocked and wonders that this can't be this obvious. And Zijin, as he comes near to her, says that it seems like that, but it is. Doubtlessly. However, just that time, the door is knocked, and Captain Baming enters. As he walks in, Coco straightforwardly asks if he is looking for her, and he says that he came to look if she is doing good. Now that she is actually good, he tells her to prepare to go with him to train as the weekend is almost ending here. Coco thinks of him as if he is the devil, and resists. She says that she is not going with him at any cost. She tells him that she need to look for a part-time job on weekends because she lacks in money. And beside that, his training is not in the agreement between her and Ye Bei Ming. Moreover, she says that the hospitalization fee was even paid by Long Yang, and the medical expenses of her grandma and her dad is outrageous. But with all this... She wonders of her being such a poor girl. Captain Bei Ming, who stands behind her, suggests that he will grant Coco Ming 10,000 yuan a day. And Coco Ming, without thinking of anything else, raises her thumb and says that this is a deal done. Zijin, who also hears her saying her problems, then asks, why is she even short of money? And she tells him that her dad had an accident and he is still in the intensive care unit. Even though Sir paid the medical expenses for her, she has to find a way to pay him back. Captain Baming concludes that if she is short of money, she is always welcome to work for him as a model, and he will pay her too. Hearing this, Coco Ming becomes surprised and asks that if he will not make her to wear those naked clothes again. And Zi Jin, who nervously says that Coco wore naked clothes for Baming to take pictures. Then Zijin becomes warned, to which he tells Captain Baming that Coco is Ye Baming's woman. But that doesn't seem to have any impact on Captain Baming, as he bites an apple and says that Coco is at least not his woman, and why is he being nervous? With both of them arguably looking at each other, Coco yells to each of them to stay shut as she wants to sleep. 
She covers herself under the blanket, where they two decide to leave. Even while leaving, they try to squeeze in together, but struggle as what they argue to stay away from one other. It seems that now that the next day has arrived and Coco gets up, but eventually someone comes and just grabs her from her throat and keep on saying that I will kill you. It was just that Coco quickly gets up on her bed and realizes that it was just a bad nightmare. However, she looks beside and Ye Baming stands beside her. She wonders how come he can walk as he just had the operation and as she stands up beside him and holds him to make him sit down while asking him about how good is he feeling about himself. He stares at her and awkwardly responds that he want to go to the bathroom. And one thing he asks from Coco if she can do him a favor, but as just he mentions this. Coco holds him as he was about to fall down, wondering that the effect of anesthesia has not yet completely been ward off. And still this stupid came running to her. This makes her blush to think that he still cares for her and loves her in some ways. However, she compliments Ye Bei Ming as such a baby, and being irritable that she is afraid he has been holding back for a long time, and if President Bei Ming pees in his pants, she won't be able to bear the sight of that. In the next scene, it is seen Coco walking out from the washroom and wiping her hands. But if you look closely, she is blushing. Anyways, Ye Bei Ming sits on the bed and asks Coco that he heard Coco Ming has been guarding outside during his operation, but left after him coming out of the ward. Coco looks at him and contemplates about Ye Bei Ming being such curious about such a trifle. Then Ye Bei Ming says, while falling on the bed and smiling, that now he is tired and need to rest, for which he asks Coco to come and accompany him. Coco, on the other side, looks at him and becomes kind of dull that now it seems Yebeming is available only because Feifan Yu left. But she goes and sits beside him, saying that there is no need to be angry with a patient. She tells Yebeming that she will sit beside him and watch him go to sleep. He holds Coco's hand and puts it on his heart, where he then starts to talk in his sleep. While sleeping, he keeps on asking to what to do now. Coco draws her attention to what is he trying to say, she asks, and realizes that Ye Bei Ming is sleep-talking. And to that, Zijin walks up on her behind with Yi Yang. He says that this is the first time he has seen this guy so embarrassed that he even suppressed urination because he didn't want to wake Coco up. But deep down, he contemplates to what Ye Bei Ming is wanting. Is it Fei Fan Yu, or is it Coco, which he likes? Then he asks if they should ask the nurse to arrange two beds in the same room for them being together, and Coco tells him that she will be discharged in the morning, hence there will be no need for that. Yi Yang then asks, and at first he refers to her as Miss Coco, and says if she can be lenient on him as Sir will kill him, if he wakes up and sees Coco disappeared. After hearing this, Coco says that now she will stay in with Ye Bei Ming's ward. Zijin stands up and asks from Coco if there is any difference between their ward's categories, and Coco says that it is about the money since her dues are paid by her friends, and she want to save money as much as possible as she can try. This makes Zi Jin to deeply consider Coco's responsibilities, which according to her age, is too much. And however, he says that he is not qualified to say that he is here to help for her. After then, about two hours later, Coco walks in Ye Bei Ming's room and sees the double-size bed placed in his ward. She wonders that Ye Bei Ming is exaggerated as he has actually asked someone to put such a large-sized bed in the hospital ward. She goes to sit beside him on the bed, and Ye Bei Ming, while holding her hand, says that he has asked Yi Yang to return the hospitalization expenses, and that there is no need to spend other men's money since she has him with herself. Coco looks at him and contemplates about the bossy president has finally made a statement now. Therefore, the nurse also came in saying that now it is time for him to change his dress. But Ye Bei Ming, as being the only type of person he likes himself to be, asks Coco to help him change the dress, but in response, 
Coco opposes him by suggesting him to let the professional nurse doing the work. Ye Beiming then tells her that from the time he met Coco, he has never allowed any other women to see his body except Coco. But he mentions Fei Fan Yu's sister's death, which he tells Coco, died for him. And after that, he has promised that he will take care of Fei Fan Yu all his life. And that he cannot break his promise if Coco can truly understand. Coco is then seen applying bandage to Ye Beiming's wound, but she is silent and wonders about Fei Fan Yu, who seemed to be so much to Ye Bei Ming that he almost lost his life for her sake. But she tries to just let it all go, as there is no useful thing to think about it that much. She then puts Ye Bei Ming on the bed to rest as he should, and Ye Bei Ming grabs her hand and tell her to come and sleep together. Coco cautiously lays on the bed in order to refrain from Ye Bei Ming's wounds touching her. But no matter what, this man is always in terms of looking for a way to see through. Even now, when Coco was trying to stay away from his wounds, he pulls her close and holds her tightly while saying to Coco to not to be so dilly-dally. Not only that, as Coco was opposing him and resisting while watching out the wounds, Ye Bei Ming pulls and kisses her right away. Ye Bei Ming also tells Coco to remove her dress so that he can have a look. With light breaths, Coco responds that they are in the hospital, and what is he even thinking about? Coco backs up and Ye Beiming becomes more intimate to proceed on with her. He puts his hand on Coco's face where she then compliments him, being a childish man. She blushes when Ye Beiming pokes her cheek and says that he only want to have a look. And she still stands on her decision to not to undress at all. And Ye Beiming also makes a moody face when backing up and complimenting to Coco as such a rude person. But somehow he hisses because of his wound hurting him. Coco becomes worried to call the nurse as if she has accidentally touched his injured part of the body, but Ye Bei Ming holds her again and throws her on the bed and jumps on her by himself and says that it won't hurt him if she will, for once, undress and have him take a look. In the meantime, both Fei Fan Yu and Dai Dai are seen coming down the corridor. Dai Dai says that Fei Fan is looking happy to see Boss Ye Beiming, and Fei Fan stops and turns to Dai Dai and say to make it stop making fun of her. Ye Beiming is also hungry so that they should grab him breakfast. Dai Dai goes forward and knocks on the door of Beiming's ward. But as they stand outside, they hear voices saying, Why not? I taught you. Now hurry up and make it start directly. Fei Fan Yu becomes more and more angry over hearing this voices, as she think they both, including Ye Beiming and Coco Ming, are active in intimation. And for her, she says that his woman Coco is lingering, even after knowing how much Ye Beiming is important to her. She hears Ye Beiming calling her baby and asking her to go on hard with it and hurry it up. Fei Fan Yu being more frustrated clenches her hand, and when she hears Ye Bei Ming saying that now it is hurting and stuff like this, she bash opens the door and walks in yelling that Ye is her man, and that she doesn't allow them to do such shameful thing outside. But the way they are disappointed by their looks, as they see Coco Ming standing beside Ye Bei Ming and holding the injection in one of her hand. Then Ye Yang quickly comes and drags the other ladies out and apologizes to Ye Beiming that he needed to go to the bathroom, where Fei Fan is relieved that it was the injection only, and no matter what they were ahead in, thinking whatever is going on inside. Coco Ming comes out and tells Ye Yang that Ye Beiming is asking him to go inside. Meanwhile, Coco walks away, Fei Fan is seen that she is now following Coco, and by looking at this, Dai Dai wonders that Fei Fan is so angry already that she even forgot her sprained ankle. So she says that she will follow Fei Fan, so in case she needs any help, she can aid her. Meanwhile, Coco Ming wonders about remembering to get the medicine at the nurse's station after a while, and suddenly she hears someone shouting, Bitch out loud! And as she turns, Fei Fan Yu comes and waves in order to put away something from her Coco. Coco dodges her and resents a perfect a slap landing on her face. Dai Dai comes running toward Coco, to which Coco looks at her, and at first, she says that Fei Fan is the one who started it, and turns away and start running by herself. 
Luckily, she runs fast, but still, Dai Dai Baiming is even Jill's leader, and obviously that makes Coco no match to her at all. But she also didn't expect it that it would be useful. What? The training obviously guys from Captain Lian Cheng. Anyways, Coco finally comes inside the wardroom of Ye Bei Ming. He looks at Hiran ask what is wrong as she looks nervous. He asks from her if someone has bullied her, but Coco intentionally hesitates to speak it up but stops. In the meantime, both Fai Fan Yu and Dai Dai enters the room as they rush in and say that the woman is making mischief. Dai Dai points her finger toward Coco and say to Ye Bei Ming that she slapped Fai Fan Yu and bullied her badly. Ye Bei Ming looks at Coco who is hiding behind him and asks him if she actually did something like what they are mocking her about. Coco looses the grip and steps back and while she refers to Ye Bei Ming, she says that she did slap her. And now that she will leave, Ye Bei Ming don't need to be like this anymore now. Ye Bei Ming angrily asks, where is she going like this? And Coco tells him that she cannot stay here. She says that she want to apologize, but Fei Fan was the first to try in hitting her, and also that she knows Ye Bei Ming will definitely stand up for Fei Fan Yu. As for now, she says that she is not a tool for him and don't want to be bullied like this from him. Ye Bei Ming start to consider this as a confusion that Coco Ming is wondering about him taking side of Fei Fan Yu instead of her. Coco Ming turns around and proceed to leave the room. There, she confronts Dai Dai in action, but luckily her hand is grabbed by Ye Bei Ming to the point where Dai Dai was about to hit Coco Ming. Dai Dai says that this is not acceptable, that Ye Bei Ming will be taking side instead of Fei Fans, who was even bullied by Coco. Ye Bei Ming angrily asks who is the one starting it all, and Dai Dai, losing her thoughts, lowers her face and says that it shouldn't matter at all as Fei Fan Yu is bullied. And this should be the thing noted. Fei Fan, in the meantime, comes up by herself and says that she is the one who started it, and says to Ye Bei Ming that she doesn't want to see him with someone else being together. And that Fei Fan and Ye Bei Ming makes a matching couple together. And why does he even use Coco Ming to annoy her like this? She also says that she don't want this thing like this anymore, and now that he likes her, be together from now on. It was here what you all are waiting for. Do you know what Ye Bei Ming responds to her? Well, he grabs Coco and says that there is nothing for her to think like them together, being a matching couple. And the reason he saved Fei Fan was only because he had promised Fei Fan's sister that he will take care of Fei Fan Yu. However, as it was already told a long time ago, and since today he is mentioning it again, he only wants Coco Ming. Fei Fan Yu is surely heartbroken at the moment, and says that these are not his finest words for sure. She says that Ye Bei Ming has used Coco Ming as a shield because he is worried that Master will deal with her. Fei Fan comes and holds his hand, saying that she don't want anything. As long as he is with her, she says that she is not afraid of anything. But Yi Beaming tells her in response that he has his words very clear and she better not think it that way. Or otherwise, he also don't mind in sending her to the Oriental International immediately. There, he also retrieves his hand and Feifen Yu turns back, wondering about forgiving her random thoughts, to which from now on she won't do it anymore. Dai Dai becomes concerned, she asks Fei Fan Yu to have a walk outside, while Ye Bei Ming and Coco have a talk with each other. Ye Bei Ming then turns to Coco Ming and asks her if she is not going to make any trouble. And as she said that he bullied her with the other girls, Coco dashes and says, sorry for misunderstanding him, now that she won't bother him go out. Lian Cheng is also sitting beside him and tells Ye Bei Ming that Master asked him to take Coco Ming back next month and ask if he want to make it known to Master. Ye Bei Ming sits on his bed and wonders that after so many years, Master still didn't forget about a thing. And in response to Lian Cheng, he says that the current time is not right. On the other hand, Coco Ming wonders the thing wrong with Dai Dai as she stands for Fei Fan Yu without a reason after the latter cried. However, she looks up and sees Mr. Long standing. 
He comes and asks from Coco if she has recovered and assures if she didn't have an intravenous drip for today. In response, Coco says that now she is fine, and just now she has dined in a restaurant. Moreover, she says that she didn't thank him for his help. They both walk out together from the hospital, and Coco asks if he is really going to take over Dong Fang entertainment movies. He turns to her and asks if she wants to join them, but assures if she is afraid of being cheated. Coco Ming nervously rubs her hand on her back and lowers her face in shame. At first, she says that she is a student and she is used to encounter liars, and then asks from him if there is any work related to script writing so that she can give it a start because she is lacking in money. After some time, Coco comes back in the hospital and is happy that she might have gotten the opportunity for a part-time job, as she wonders that now she can reduce the pressure on debt repayment. But as she approaches Ye Beiming's ward, she stops when she hears Fei Fan's voice asking, Ye Beiming about the porridge been boiling for several hours by now. She says that the food from hospital is also better. This makes Coco Ming to wonder about Fei Fan Yu being such a good actress, and she must be aware of that. She walks in, and Ye Bei Ming, while looking at her, asks her if she will keep on standing in a daze or will come near to him. Without a choice, Coco walks up and stands beside Fei Fan and tells her to let her serve Ye Bei Ming because he is not used to being served by others. Fai Fan internally wonders that this is her porridge, and now this Coco Ming has came her to steal the show. But she puts a face mask and smiles while handing the porridge to Coco Ming. Coco refers to Ye Bei Ming and says that this porridge and the bowl seems clean, and if he can put up with it first. Ye Bei Ming, who seems resisting in eating it, makes Coco to wonder about this guy does not appreciate others to touch his tablewares. His expression is clear that displays his dissatisfaction, but since the bowl was touched by Fei Fan Yu, what can be done now? But then this stupid girl comes and angrily says what Coco is meaning to say with her words, as Fei Fan Yu is much cleaner than her, and if she is even qualified to judge her. Fei Fan Yu quickly holds her and pulls her in, order to make her stop saying anything. She says to let it be as Ye Beiming likes it. Fei Fan, while standing beside Dai Dai, who puts her head away in anger, says to Coco Ming about that night they were kidnapped and says that the other two men wanted to divert their boredom with her. Coco puts one spoon in Ye Beiming's mouth and he doesn't take it. Instead, he asks if the men did anything to her. Where Fei Fan Yu is now, in terms of putting a new trouble in between, and says that if they bullied her, she must speak it out and let Yi take revenge for her. And for that purpose, it was a playing act played by Fei Fan. But as Coco realizes that she intends to bring trouble, so she says that there is nothing that they have done. And Ye Bei Ming wonders that Fei Fan is making up things to say right now, and in response, he angrily tells Fei Fan to pack her suitcase and leave, and he don't want her to be seen in the Empire House ever again. Lian Cheng, who was sitting in the room, gets up, and as he passes by Fei Fan, he mentions that sometimes, as a human, you should be nice. There, Fei Fan trembles and about to fall, where Dai Dai helps her gain balance. Dai Dai hears Ye Bei Ming saying to return to the island and not to be allowed to leave the island until the end of this month where she then becomes straightforward in thought if Ye Bei Ming is angry and want her to confine on the island. They leave, and behind, Ye Bei Ming drags Coco leaning to the wall and kisses her. He then tells her to arrange her affairs and go back to Oriental International with him in the middle of the next month. And about three days later, Coco is told by the police officer that there is no chance or any idea where her aunt and Shan Ming are, but since they are working, they will let them know as soon as possible they will find any information. However, the same at home. When she falls asleep, she again has the same nightmare where she is about to get grabbed by someone and kept on hearing someone will kill her. She, in frustration, calls Ye Bei Ming and tells him while crying that she is missing him to which Ye Bei Ming quickly grabs his boat as it seems he was on the island and leaves. For now, this is all. Stay tuned for more updates. 
There our Anmi finishes. If you want to have more recaps of this one on our channel, let us know in the comments as your feedback would encourage us to do much more. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss more amazing anime recaps like that. Thanks.